hi guys and welcome back in today's lesson we're going to learn to read guitar tabs now guitar tablature or tabs as it's popularly called is a form of writing down music for guitar players and um, it mostly uses numbers to write down the music so you'd have to learn how to read it um, believe me as you progress in your guitar playing you're going to see this in guitar books online and it's nice that you're able to identify with it and know what it is so you don't get confused so let's dig in so guys we start out by putting the guitar down on our lap like this from this point of view you can see that the thicker string the low is on the bottom and the high E is on the top it's just like that on tap paper with the bottom line representing the thickest string, the top line representing the th thinnest string. As I plot the notes from the bottom to the top, you can see that the corresponding lines on the tab paper also go and a zero appears on each line as I plot it. That zero represents an open string so we are just playing the, all the open strings from the lowest string to the highest. So now we'll learn how to move up the first board. We'll do this along the sim single string, the high E string, which is represented by the top line of the guitar tab. As I've already mentioned, plucking a string without pressing down is represented as zero which is an open string if we press down the string between the knots that's this white piece of plastic here the first fret um we get a note if we press down okay that note is represented by a one on the guitar tab because we are pressing on a string on the first fret so now let's let's count up the spread board one two three four five six seven eight nine and so on most guitars have these white dots here fret markers they help you know what fret you are on most guitars have it on the third fifth seventh ninth fret which are all old, odd numbers there's a special fret markers at the 12th fret because all the notes are exactly one octave higher than the open string on this 12th fret so now we are ready to put our guitar upright so earlier i said on guitar tab the bottom line represents the thicker string and the top line represents the thinner string and when the guitar was on our lap it was the same way now that we've put our guitar correctly it's the other way around thicker string is on the top and thinner string is on the bottom okay so now we're ready to try leading the song using the tab okay on the tab you see a seven on the top line the top line represents the thinnest string that's the high e string to get this to the thinnest you can count up two three four five six seven these are seven now now that we have our starting note we can go step by step through the tabs so go to five three four and then we do that again seven five three okay now you see that there's four threes in the row so hold on the third fret and pluck it four times same thing but on the fifth fret okay and then to finish it off seven five three so guys we're going to play a melody that goes across more than just one string this means that we not we have to play the correct fret and we have to see what line of the tab that fret number is written on and we have to find the corresponding string to make sure we are playing on the correct string we we'll start on the g string back to the g again back to the g On tab, if you see two notes that line up vertically, it means you play them at the same time 
in this song smoke on the water we are going to be playing the d and g strings thanks for watching guys i'll see you in the next lesson and don't forget to like and subscribe bye